So you want to use your Steam machine as a monstrous console emulating machine? Well, it's totally possible, and I'm going to show you how. Now, in order to do this, you need to be somewhat familiar with a Linux desktop, because that's where we're going to go first. So from the SteamOS interface, go ahead and switch to the Linux desktop. Now, if you haven't already done this or you haven't already set up your Linux desktop, watch my previous video on how to do that. So the application we use to emulate the consoles is called RetroArch, or at least that's the front end. The emulators themselves are their own applications, but we're going to use RetroArch to sort of unify them. So once you're on the Linux desktop, we're going to need to go and pull a repository down from GitHub. The repository is called SteamOS Tools, and there's two different ways you can pull it down. You could just go ahead and download the zip directly from GitHub, or you can use the Git CLI application to pull it down that way. Either way, once you have SteamOS Tools, you'll want to extract it, and then you'll want to open a terminal in the folder where you extracted it. In that folder, there's going to be a shell script called Add Debian Repos. This script will not only install the Debian repos, but it will also install the SteamOS Tools repo, and it's in that repository that you'll find RetroArch. So go ahead and run that shell script, and once it's done, you'll want to install RetroArch along with whatever emulators you're looking for. Now for this video, I'm going to go ahead and use Synaptic so I can show you the packages you're going to want. You're of course going to want RetroArch, the package you see here, and along with RetroArch, you're going to want to pull down the packages for the emulators you want to use. So if you want a Sega Genesis simulator, you're going to want to pull down the Genesis Plug GX. And if you want the Super Nintendo emulator, you're going to want SNES 9X or 9X Next. That's what I have. And then if you want an N64 emulator, you're going to be looking for MUPEN64+. Now once you've selected all your packages, go ahead and apply and install them, and load back into the SteamOS interface. And once you're back to the SteamOS interface, we'll need to add a shortcut for RetroArch. So you want to go to Settings, and then you want to go to the menu item that says Add Library Shortcut. And once you're there, scroll down until you find RetroArch. If yours is like mine, there won't be any sort of icon or anything, it will just say RetroArch. So select that to add a library shortcut, and then we'll want to go to our Steam library, and select it and launch it from there. So the RetroArch interface is somewhat complicated at first, but what you'll need to do first is set up the bindings for the controller you're going to use. Now you can use your keyboard, but since of course these are consoles, you're going to want to use a gamepad. Of course you can use whatever gamepad you want, you just need to make sure that you bind all the buttons right. This can be somewhat of a tedious process, but you got to do it. Once you've got your button bindings down, you want to get your hands on some ROMs. And of course, once you have your ROMs, you want to go to the menu option called Load Content. And in Load Content, you'll want to go to Select a File and Detect Core. That way RetroArch will figure out which emulator it needs, you won't have to choose one. And from there, choose the ROM you want to play. You could play something like Super Mario Bros. 3. Or you could give Contra on the Super Nintendo a try. Or if you have an N64 emulator, why not give Goldeneye a try? Now about your favorite second Genesis game, like Sonic Hedgehog. So there you have it. That's how to install, set up, and play console emulators on the SteamOS.